Hello, I'm Judy Miller with Infusionsoft and this short little video is going to help you navigate through your Infusionsoft software. Once you purchase Infusionsoft you really don't know where to go and this is going to help you with your navigation. So enjoy and welcome to our Infusionsoft family. When you first purchase Infusionsoft it's a little tricky to get around so we're going to show you how. Let me show you the Infusionsoft navigation. What we'll be learning today is how to log into your Infusionsoft application how to find your app name. Your app name is what you're going to need when you call tech support. Also how to start using Infusionsoft and the basic navigation of how to get around. With your Infusionsoft subscription you also have access to our help center. Our help center can be found at help.infusionsoft.com. You don't have to be a user inside Infusionsoft in order to use our help center. If you're just looking for something like say how to add a contact you can click in this little white area, type it in. If you're just searching for something in the user guide, like maybe how to add a contact, you can just write it in this little white area and click on that little search magnifying glass and it will find all the articles and videos that have to do with that. As you can see on the top, there's your user guide, access to more videos, access to our mastermind webinars, any notes on releases that we have coming out, and also our support numbers. If you notice, we have a chat button where we have chat for 24-7. Also, we have our numbers for USA and Canada, the UK, and Australia. And those numbers are down there for you just in case you want to write those down. But you can find them under support in our help center. So let's get into your Infusionsoft application and learn about the navigation. An important fact to know is that Infusionsoft works on Firefox or Chrome. Right now I'm in Firefox and what I'm going to do is in the browser window on top I am going to actually type in sign in dot infusionsoft.com and then what you're going to do is you're going to put in your username and your password and you're going to hit login. Once you do, if you have access to other applications, those will show up and I'm going to come into my HV202. When you click on your Infusionsoft application or you go to signin.infusionsoft.com and put in your username and password, it will show up with your user list and sometimes it will just be your name. If you have other users, click on the correct login link and you'll be logged into your Infusionsoft application. If you notice on top in the browser window on the very top it says HTTPS forward slash forward slash and then there's this little funny number right there it's two letters and three numbers. So mine is HV202. If I was to call tech support today and I had a question about my app and they said what is your app name you would look up here and if you notice it says HV202 XY123BX172 etc. I like to put that on a little sticky note and put that on my computer so that I always have my app name right there in front of me. This is your Infusionsoft dashboard. And if you'd like to learn more about the widgets, you can click on this little Add Widget button. If you click on the Add Widget button one time, you'll see different widgets that you can grab. Like I may want to see my Contacts widget. And if I click Add to Dashboard, that, that widget will automatically appear. And if I want to move it, all I need to do is grab it and I can move it to wherever I want it to be. You can also change your layout look and there's different layouts. If you have a really wide computer you might want two wide columns and one narrow. If you do not want a widget all you need to do is hit the X, hit OK and that widget will disappear but it won't disappear out of your app. You can still have access to it by clicking Add Widgets. So let's take a look at our screen. If you'll notice in this black bar on top you'll see this little icon right here and Fusionsoft calls that our cornerstone. That icon will take you into the different portals or different modules of Infusionsoft. We have our navigation that you can set up your own little navigation bar. We have our CRM that has to do with our contacts. We have our marketing that has to do with our campaign builder, sending off broadcasts, creating a template. And if you're an old user and still using legacy, you can click there. But for the most part, you won't need that if you're a new user. E-commerce will help you set up your online store. However, if you do not have the e-commerce section, that just means that you didn't purchase the Infusionsoft that has the e-commerce available. And the admin section is over to all the way to the right. The My Nav, if you hit Edit, you can set up your own navigation bar for where you're going to be joining the most. So if I'm going to be working with contacts, I can grab it over here. If 
I'm going to be working in the campaign builder a lot, I can grab it and move it over here. And if I'm going to be sending out a lot of broadcasts, I can send email and broadcast, hit done, and then I have my own little navigation bar just like that. If you click over our cornerstone, that is how you'll get to the different modules of Infusionsoft. Like let's say I want to look at my contacts. I would hover over the Infusionsoft logo. I can either come down to my My Nav now, or I can go to CRM, Contacts, and click it one time. If I click it one time, it will bring up my contacts. In our Manage Contacts webinar, we go over how to import contacts, how to add contacts, and how to look at your contacts in different views. If you notice, all the way to the right, we have this little house. And if you hover over the house, you can see that will take you to our, our basic training, the initial setup to put your logo in, etc. It'll bring you to your dashboard. My day, which is, is your organization of your tasks, your calendar, any tasks you may have. And if you have your mailbox set up in Infusionsoft, you can look at your inbox. If you come down to the files, you'll notice that we have company files and we have company images. If you have any ebooks or PDFs, you'll put those in your company files and that's where you can grab them. They will be housed by Infusionsoft. If you have any images that you want to add, you can either add them on the fly and learn how to do that on Wednesday's Email Builder webinar, or you can come to Company Images and just hit Browse and add an image right on the fly. The next icon to the right is a clock, and that little clock will take you to the last 10 places you were. So you can see that I was in Andrea's contact record. The nice thing about this is if you have a really busy office and you had five people call, you started working on one of their contact records and then you forgot and got you know, sent off to do something else, you can come here to the clock. Oh, that's right, I was working with Judy. You can click on that and you'll be right back into their contact record. It will take you to the last 10 places that you were. The star is really interesting because the star is called your favorites and that will help you open up another window and toggle between different places on your computer. Like say that you manage a lot of Facebook ads. You can come to edit. You can add a new link. You name that link. You put in the URL. And then when you're on this little star right here, you can click on Facebook, click on the link, and it will actually open up your Facebook page. The next one to the right is called Infusionsoft Marketplace. And that's where you can find more products and services done by your Infusionsoft family. You can also come into apps and see some different applications that you can add to your Infusionsoft or add to your computer. If you come to the Manage Contacts webinar, which is on Tuesdays, I go over a couple apps that I think would be really valuable. If you come down to Campaigns, that will give you a resource to get free campaigns put right into Infusionsoft for free and other services. To the right, the next icon is your profile. If you click on Edit My Profile, that is where you'll actually edit your personal profile. This is your name and your email address. If you come to the next tab, which is Preferences, you can tell Infusionsoft what time zone you're in. You can also come to the default start page and tell Infusionsoft that you want to, every time you open up Infusionsoft, either open up on your dashboard or open up on the top of your MyNav. So if I go to MyNav, you'll see it's My Day. So if I pick the top, My Nav top link, it will automatically open up to My Day. I like mine opening up to my dashboard, so I'm going to choose Dashboard. Inside your user account is also where you'll create your signature. This is your text signature, but what you're going to want to create is your HTML signature by hitting Edit so that this will show up on all of your emails. The next tab over is your Help. You can see that chat is now available, and if I click on that chat, it will open up a little window to talk to one of our tech support via chat. Now that is your main navigation for Infusionsoft. Again, if you need help, you can always come here to the little help, go into your help center. You can chat, or if you see this little blue box right here that says need help, if you click on that one time, it'll open up a walk me. And you can say, hmm, I just want to add a contact. How to add a new contact. Click on it and it will walk you through. Hover over here to get started. Click on contacts and that's how to view your contacts. Click here and it will show you how to add a new one. And that's called Walk Me. It's available on all your pages and it's in the, the lower right hand corner. 
If you hover over the Infusionsoft Cornerstone and you don't see an area that you need, you may not have permissions, so you'll have to ask your admin to give you the permissions, or you may not have that module of Infusionsoft. In CRM, if you don't have the Referral Partner module or the Sales Pipeline module or the Opportunity module, these two little places will not show up. And so don't be alarmed. If you need that, you can just call your salesperson or come into the billing and account information and add those on the fly. I hope that you guys will join me in my live webinars, which are Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays every week by coming to the little house, clicking on basic training. You'll be able to come to these little tiles and choose the one that you want to join me on. Thanks for being part of our Infusionsoft family. Bye-bye.